over now to a factory at Isleworth, Middlesex, where some of the loveliest fashions in swimsuits are these days created from over 30 different types of fabric. And let's meet some of the craftsmen who know today what the fashions of tomorrow will be. The variety of fabrics used today make the work more complicated than you'd realize, for different fabrics all require different types of thread. On the other hand, these days the work is speeded up to mass production level by improved machinery. Ron Turner, for example, operates a cutting machine that can cope with up to 150 layers of fabric at a time, according to the thickness and quantity required. Despite the blaze of colour around them, it's nevertheless difficult for the staff to visualise the finished article. So during the tea breaks, mannequin parades are arranged for their benefit, so that the swimsuits can be seen to their best advantage. On occasions like these, a model has to be on her toes, for while these workers may not be connoisseurs of haute couture, they do make a critical but appreciative audience. This, by the way, is Mon Chéri, the costume, not the girl. A cotton swimsuit made to fit trimly by a special elasticizing process. You probably recognize the fabric with its gay embroidered cherries as the one we saw on the cutting table. An effective double ensemble of swimsuit, aptly named Dateline, contrasting with shirt called Date Mate, which of course shouldn't be too hard to arrange, Although at one time swimsuits were worn to swim in, they seem these days to be becoming so attractive that a lot of girls won't risk getting them wet. Still, seriously though, there's no doubt the styles of today are practical as well as attractive. Two of the latest designs, yet in striking contrast to each other, a brief two-piece called Illusion and the new cover-up style Vidado, fast gaining popularity. Another version of the cover-up style, sleeveless this time, but with the high neckline, called Monaco Stripes. Having no skirt, it accentuates the long-legged look. Anyway, we have to admit our beaches will look a little brighter this year. 